Tired of the same old prompts? Best quality, masterpiece, high details, boring. Are you feeling uninspired and not able to come up with new ideas? Or maybe you just don't know where to start. Well, hello, people of Playground. I'm super excited to share with you guys a new feature to expand your prompt. And it works very simply. On the left panel here, whether you're on board or canvas, all you have to do is toggle it on. Enter a simple prompt. Let's put dog running in the forest and click on generate. Now you're going to see it says expanding prompt. And once it's done, it creates a prompt for you. And you'll notice that your images will be more aesthetically pleasing. If we take a closer look at these images, they look very photorealistic, very colorful, great saturation in color. If you can tell by the images, they're more aesthetically pleasing, as I said. Now, if I were to click on one of the images here on the right panel, you'll see the original prompt. And now there's another spot here to see the expanded prompt. So on Canvas, you can copy that, go to your generation box and paste it in there should you want to regenerate or even if you want to tweak the prompt and make it your own. Let's try another example. This time I'm going to do comic book art of Thor and we're going to pick a filter like mysterious and generate some images here. Once again, you see expanding prompt. You could see the preview of the prompt and there we go. We've got some images of Thor in a comic book style. What's great about this feature is that if you're new to prompting and you really don't know which words to use, this is a good way to start where you can take these prompts, study them, add things, take things out. It'll really give you some ideas to get started. And for those of you that are familiar with prompting, it'll give you some new ideas to play around with. Now, ideally, it's meant for shorter prompts. One of the advantages of expanding your prompt is that if English isn't your first language, you can type something in here in your native language and it's going to convert it to English. In the prompt here, I have a man drinking coffee in a cafe in my native language, which is Filipino. And I'm going to go ahead and generate this and it's going to take that description in my native tongue and translate it to English. So we have a man in a cafe drinking coffee. Now, if you're curious, this is done by a language model called ChatGPT. Basically, it pulls the information, brings it in for you. I'm going to switch over to board in a second because there are some slight differences there at the moment. But before we go there, I want to show you some new features that we have besides this. When you're generating an image in the past, when you'd click on generate, your panels would stay there. But now if you hit control or command on a Mac, and a backslash, those panels will disappear. So it'll allow you to have more canvas space as you work. So you could continue to generate more images. As long as you don't need the panels, you'll have the full workspace to work with. And to call it back, you just have to hit it again and you can adjust your settings, pick a filter, whatever the case may be. It's a bit different from shortcut key V where it's a different state. With V, if I click on an image, it'll pull up the other information right panel. So don't get confused between the two. Both are different states for different purposes. Now, the other thing is if you hit one, it's going to zoom to fit. This was something people have requested that I personally love. Now, if your canvas is all over the place, let's say I bring this guy all the way there. If I'm over here and I've lost track of my other images, or if I open it up and it's like this, you just have to click one and then you'll see at the edge, oh, there's the rest of my images. So as much as possible, if you want, try to keep your canvas nice and tidy. So if I hit one, it's just going to center it properly there so that I can see where all my images are. Now switching over to board, I have this prompt that's a little bit longer explaining a few more details. It's an ice sculpture of a wolf, glass crystal, translucent, fractal, 
There's quite a bit of information here. You don't want to go overboard with your prompts. The idea here is to keep it really simple and just put your main ideas in there. Let's make sure expand prompt is on. And then I'm going to go ahead and generate eight images here. You see, once again, it says expanding prompt. There's the new prompt that it's developed for me. And now we see the outcome of these prompts. They look very aesthetically pleasing. Definitely a great addition to Playground if I must say myself. Very addicting to use, but once again, it's a great way to expand your prompt knowledge as well. Now the difference with board though, if you click on the image, it doesn't go to the prompt box. So you do have to go to your profile. And then once you're in your profile, you'll see the new prompt added here. You can remix or copy the prompt. Just leave a tab open for now so that you can go back and forth. A few things to keep in mind. If you're a free user, expanding your prompt, you get 30 uses per month. So let's say you do images of batches of four. Those four images you generate is considered one use. But if you're on Turbo and you can generate eight batches at the same time, that will still count as one use. As of today recording this video, Pro in Turbo is unlimited. And last but not least, we have six SDXL filters coming soon. Juggernaut XL, Real Stock Photo, Night Vision, Starlight Animated, Real Viz XL, and Zavi Chroma XL coming to Playground very soon. And if you're new to Playground and you want a breakdown of some of our existing SDXL filters, make sure to check out these videos here. Until the next one, this is Playground.